Hi guys, um, today's tutorial is about how to edit and trim uh, time of both ends Hi. in expression encoder. That's my dad kid, he's watching Scooby Doo. But you watch that and my dad will do this. So basically, a few things. This is the one I'm doing at the moment. Uh, this is the, this is an in, a video intro to go with uh, my DIY videos. And I'll show you how I did the animation on a later video. So, there we go. Now that's it so I've trimmed that so you got here where it says clips okay so you can do 50 for example 50 milliseconds it's half of a second or you can do for example two seconds and see what happens you saw the video earlier right see where it uh, starts off so starting point basically that's one way to do it that's an easy way to do it so if I were to do say one this is what would happen okay let's do zero as in like zero 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 so no trim whatsoever and this is where it would start off so you get the zest right this is how you trim on this end uh, your starting end the, the other end the same process you can hear milliseconds and you give your seconds here or you can drag you see that you see here you can drag that so you can drag it out can you see while I'm doing that the timer on the end is actually decreasing can you see it's decreasing uh, it should be increasing my bad okay <clears throat> it should be increasing to its max to its full there now see what happens okay let's play it That was my boy in the background when he hears the sound, uh, the laser beam, he goes, push, push. <laughs> that's cute. So you, you get the point, right? So this is how you do it, okay? There or here, you can trim. Prefer to do it here because you get far more control. Well, actually both, I do it both. So for example, what I'll do is I'll go over with mouse <clears throat> to see up to what point I want to cut it off. And you see, the seconds are here, 2.5, 3, and so on. So that's a good way of uh, doing it as well. So you see at three point you kind of get a good result as to what I want until the excess bit appear. Oh there. So roughly about th here, look here duration 3.939, that's where the excess bit appears. So I can do it here as well. Or I can manually enter that bit in. So there. That no, that's not quite there. So maybe a bit more, yeah. So a bit more. There we are. That got rid of the excess bit. <coughs> Let's play it. There we go. So that's how you trim uh, excess bits and time from the start and the end uh, on expression encoder. Uh, hopefully this is useful to some of you. I found it useful because you, actually you need to know this because the videos I'm going to show in the future, this will come much handy to you guys. Anyway, um, see you for now.